Hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis. The Energy Drink. Three, four. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, everyone viewing, because you are viewing this content. So, hello viewers, everyone watching and maybe listening, if you're doing that for some reason, then listening to this content. Thank you for being here. This is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report, and I'm your host of the Report of the Week. Well, we're back here with Energy Drink Review. Lately, I know we've been, been focusing a lot on, on food products and uh, other beverages instead of the energy drinks, but we have tons. I mean, we literally do have tons of energy drinks. I don't even have room to, to really put them on the, the cabinet back here because my, my, my rubber duck collection is kind of taking up some space, but, uh, you know, I, I have energy drinks just sitting there on the floor. I mean, like, one, two, three, four, like, six cans over there. All the cans there, cans in the, the refrigerator. So we got tons of energy drinks to review. Um, so I'm, I'm getting on that now. I do. The energy crisis has, definitely has a good lifespan ahead of it, even with just this stock. Definitely weeks of, of, of energy drink reviews that we all, all love, enjoy, and, and need just to, just to keep on functioning day to day. Today's review is for Quick Strike Energy Drink. With caffeine, asterisk. That means that means they're up to up to no good. And B vitamins. So quick strike energy drink. It says uh, in blueberry flavor. Let's check out the back first. Serving size eight fluid ounces. Two servings per container. So of course it's your classic sixteen ounce energy drink. One hundred and twenty calories. No fat. One fifty milligrams of sodium. 30 grams of sugar, got your, of course, vitamin B12, B8, let's see what else I got here, ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, malic acid, taurine, glucolactone, sodium citrate, blah, 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 uh, here's where the, the little asterisk kind of leads us to, it says caffeine, 151 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces, all right. That's actually not a not a a bad, if not a shabby, caffeine content. 151 milligrams for 16 fluid ounces. So that's actually that's enough, you know. I mean, for me, for a, a hardened addict like me, you know, that'll kind of it'll keep me awake, but it's not gonna send you know shivers down my spine or anything. But for for a first time user and abuser um, of caffeine, 151 milligrams will. We'll definitely get you going. Standard disclaimer from the beverage company. This product is not recommended for pregnant or nursing women, children, and or others sensitive to caffeine. Do not mix with alcoholic beverages. Caffeine content, 101, 151 milligrams per 16 fluid ounces. This can contain two servings. Do not exceed more than two servings. One can during a 24-hour period. Do not drink to excess, my friend. They recommend, not recommend. I guess it kind of sounds the same, though. They don't recommend more than one can of the quick strike per day, or else it'll uh, quick strike you down with all that caffeine, I imagine. Two servings, and there's this, there's this weird symbol on the can. Blue can, got a little lightning strike that's gonna gonna strike you and electrocute you and, and probably lead to your demise after you drink this. That's what they're implying. You're gonna get struck by lightning and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna perish. Just they're showing this guy getting struck by lightning, falling off his bike right there. I mean, isn't that isn't that great? They're showing you what's gonna happen after you drink this. It's just that is just great. Some guy falling off his motorbike looks like, kind of hanging on to the back seat with one hand maybe. Definitely not not having a good time. Stop analyzing this and let's get drinking. It has a blue can, a blue little opener. Is the drink itself blue? It looks like this dark substance, so I can't see. So let's pour it in. Kind of neat if it's blue. Don't really see. I'm gonna say don't see too many blue drinks on this show, but don't see too many like this either, my friends. You really don't. All right, you really don't. So this is a, a rather unique color. Um, it seems as though it's a very deep purple in color. Um, 
Not very, definitely in the, the purple family. Um, but yeah, definitely a very deep purple color. Thin a little bit over for, for maximum smelling. Smells like blueberries. It really does. Um, smells like blueberries. I know all these drinks of the blue can. They always It's always like some blue raspberry flavor or something. You know, always some weird combination. You don't see too many. They're just, you know, straight blueberry. But uh, definitely carbonated, it looks like. So let's just take a sip and give it a shot. Quick Strike Energy Drink. Hope I got the name right. Otherwise, I'm just lying to you all. Going in. Not awful, not uh, not the greatest thing in the world either, might I say. They've, they've fallen into the blueberry trap. And if you're wondering, yes, I made that up about 30 seconds ago. Uh, and the reason why in my head as I sipped this, I compared this to a very prominent blueberry drink that I tried out in 2013, Red Bull, the blue edition, which I believe was blueberry. Um, you know, it's, and, and you know, I know not all these drinks are like this, but upon the first sip, it's definitely carbonated, right? You, the first thing, always with these real carbonated drinks, you get the little sizzle and the, you know, the popping of the bubbles on your tongue. After that kind of dissipates, then you can really swoosh it around in your mouth and, uh, you know, try it out and see what it tastes like when it kind of calms itself down. So, here's the gist of it. They did get the flavor. It does taste like blueberries. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's a blueberry flavored drink. No, you know, no strings attached. It's not blueberry with a, with a tiny little hint of mango and, and you know, uh, and, and blah, blah, blah. It's not, not that. They said blueberry. It tastes like blueberry. Well, great. So why did you, why did you go on about the blueberry effect? You're just trying to, trying to mess with us here. Well, the reason I mention this is because, yes, they did get the flavor down. It's most certainly a blueberry-flavored beverage. Well, here's where it kind of kind of goes wrong, all right? And something with the blueberry flavors where it does taste like blueberry, but it's just something about these blueberry-flavored drinks that have trouble covering up the bitterness of the caffeine and other additives that are in these drinks, you know? No one's a go for that kind of soda-y taste. Have no problem. I mean, yeah, they probably dump in even more sugar and all, but... They have no problem covering that flavor up. But the blueberry ones, for some reason, I don't know what it is about them, but it's just, you always taste that bitterness, and that's unpleasant, okay? As an aftertaste, not not when you actually, you know, swish it around in your mouth, but when you swallow it, it kind of activates those taste buds in the back of your mouth, and you get this bitter aftertaste from all the caffeine and all that's in there. You know, tastes like blueberries, not the sweetest drink in the world either, um, but a very potent flavor of blueberries. And then, then once you swallow it, you get a little bit of a bitterness from all the caffeine that's in there, so that can be unpleasant. Um, but otherwise, the only things you gotta know about this, um, pretty carbonated drink, not the sweetest beverage in the world, and definitely does have a blueberry flavor, so it did not lie about that. Um, so it definitely does have blueberry flavor. Um, and then the real thing, which you can take the negative, is the fact that it has that that bitter aftertaste to it. Um, so that's all there is about the drink, you know. So you can take the bitter, you know, it is a negative, though it does tell you there is caffeine in this, but it's it's no fun to drink that and, and then to taste the bitterness of every single sip. kind of discourages you, kind of says, you know, why should I drink this and deal with the bitterness when I could just go grab a monster for the same amount of caffeine, if not more, and, you know, I don't have to deal with that, but... You know, it is what it is. It's a blueberry flavor. They didn't lie to us about it. Price-wise, this is picked up on the road pretty much. So, one of those gas station beverages. Kind of see it at a gas station. 
um, for two dollars. That's what is pretty much the going price for all these sixteen ounce cans. So it has its positives. Definitely has its negatives. Um, also more of a seasonal drink. Wouldn't really see myself drinking this in the dead of winter. You know, with snow outside and and you know sub zero temperatures. More of like a warmer weather and. And at least up here in Review Brawl Land, the, uh, the warm temperatures are starting to fade out. Starting to fade out. For a few months before they come back full bore. And, uh, you know, but, but now's your last chance really to get this and then try it out when it's still probably seasonally appropriate to, to drink. But, you know, you, you do whatever you want. You want to drink this by the fireplace while it's snowing outside, be my guest. Doesn't, doesn't matter to me one way or another. It really doesn't. So, out of 10, what are we going to rate this beverage? What are we going to rate? Let's hope we got the name right. I had the can facing away from me. Quick Strike Energy Drink with Caffeine and B Vitamins. <sighs> out of 10, I mean, price, you know, is standard, but it definitely has its, its drawback. And that's that bitter flavor. And, and that's just unpleasant. And it's there every sip. So, it's definitely unpleasant. So... You know, out of 10, we're just going to give this a 6.8 out of 10. Just because of that bitterness. A lot of drinks can cover it up all right, but this one just, you know, probably focused more on the blueberry flavor rather than covering up the bitterness at the same time. But uh, the bitterness is just unpleasant and uh, can definitely be taken care of, which is why I'm being a little harsh on them. But uh, not cover it up, really. So because of that bitterness and because that could be unpleasant to drink that's why i gave it the rating i gave it well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this is energy crisis where's the button there it is it's hiding from me the energy drink report i'm your host report of the week that's all we got for now thank you so much for watching today I reviewed quick strike energy drink thank you so much again and take care goodbye